Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jody, and today's look is definitely festival inspired. It's spring ready, also for summer. And I'm gonna do the easiest way possible, which is a hot glue gun wig. First, you need a mannequin head, five bucks at Hobby Lobby. And then I protect my mannequin head with a wig cap to protect it from the glue. And then I lay my dome cap as a foundation. Now the hair I purchased from my local beauty supply store, not entirely sure if it's online, but you can definitely check your store or just Google. And it comes with three different lengths and the closure piece that I barely use, but I am gonna use it in this video today. So let's get started on our wig. I found that the easiest way to make these wigs is to measure as we go, cut the hair and glue it down with your hot glue gun. And since the glue tends to dry very quickly, I do as much as I can manage. So if it's gonna take a lot of time for me to glue the whole piece, I just do as much as I can do, lay it really quickly, and then glue the rest. For this specific type of hair, I'm laying the wefts as close together as possible, and I even had hair left over, so that's totally fine. So I'm gonna do that same method in like a U shape all the way to the front. I wanted to show you guys how to use this awkward closure piece right here because I noticed that a lot of people, either they don't use it or they don't know how to use it. It's a closure, it looks like it, it could be used with like a bang, but I'm not gonna use it for that. I'm basically gonna use it to close the back of my U. And since I'm doing like a, not ombre hair, but like two-toned hair, I'm putting it towards the back to kind of hide the purple pieces, if that makes sense. And just like the back, I'm gonna cut the hair into pieces until I have my U. And then I'm gonna show you guys how I install the wig. Remember that wig cap that we put to protect the mannequin from the glue? Well, I take that off. I guess you can leave it on, but it's not really needed anymore. And you guys ask all the time, why, is, why do I use white glue? I don't think the black glue is as good in the hot glue guns. I just think the clear hot glue gun glue <laughs> works the best or it's efficient for wigs, in my opinion. So to install my wig, I braid my natural hair down and I literally just braid all of it in one direction toward the nape of my head. And I leave a little bit, probably half an inch of my own hair out. And then I flat iron it with some heat protectant spray. And as you can see, I have a little frizz. I'm using very low heat. I'm really trying not to burn my hair off for you guys because you know I film these tutorials. So I use as little heat as possible. It's probably like on 200 and something degrees. So yeah, it still worked out. As you can see, I installed two wig clips in the front of my U-part wig just to clip my hair down. Optionally, as you guys have seen me do, I sew the U-part wig down onto my braids. Just an FYI, if you guys wanna see how I sew my wigs down, I have multiple videos and I can show you more in depth how to make the wig as well. So definitely check those out if you need a little more help. And I'm just gonna put some, I think it's some serum or some type of finishing oil on my hair and I'm gonna work that in. And don't underestimate the power of blending. It can really be a process. But as you can see, even using low heat on my natural hair, I can still blend my hair with like straight extensions. 
So this is a finished look. Now we're ready for Coachella or whatever we want to do this spring or summer. And this is how much hair I had left. So for under 30 bucks, you've got yourself a nice vacation style or just to go to a concert this summer or if you want to just wear purple hair year round like me. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I'll see you on the next one.